Hello, movie watchers. Tis I, the Rumple One. Movies I've watched. Okay, The Dark Half. Timothy Hutton. It was a good movie, except the ending was hokey. And what can I say? I, I don't know why they did what they did. They could have had a much better ending. Southland Tales. Okay, now, I guess it was one of the last couple videos I had watched that movie, Army of Darkness, and I was just saying how bad that movie was. Well, Southland Tales gives Army of Darkness a run for its money. Dwayne Johnson, Sarah Michelle Geller. I mean... This movie, you got Mandy Moore's in it, Amy Poehler. I mean, they got some, you know, some name actors and actresses. I think, oh, that might not be politically correct. I think they're all called actors now, but Southland Tales, <laughs> I can't suggest it. The number 23, Jim Carrey, not being so funny. Oh, this movie is, uh, is good. You like those uh, mystery suspense movies? Definitely a good movie. I recommend it. Hush with Jessica Lang, Gwyneth Paltrow. You know, I really, uh, really can't recommend it. It's not that it's a bad movie, but it's just kind of lame. The Art of the Steel. I, I was just in the uh, A section. In fact, when I picked up Army of Darkness, this was like right next to it. And I thought, hmm, that looks good. It's a documentary. It's a really good documentary. It's about the uh, Barnes Museum or Barnes Foundation. And... This is one of those stories that, unless you're saying, this is all about art. If you're not in the art world, you wouldn't know about it. But the reason you should know about it is, is so you can see just how those people in power, people with money, how some of them act and what they do and what lengths they'll go to do it. And how they'll also use taxpayer dollars to get what they want. It's uh, it's really a good movie. Like I said, I highly recommend it. It's educational, and actually, by the time it was over, I was I was actually upset because of the things that you know certain people in power, from the governor on down, um, what what they did. It's just it's despicable, actually. So I recommend that. And finally, proof another Gwyneth. Paltrow movie, this time with uh, Anthony Hopkins. Actually, I, I saw this movie, I believe, right when it came out and forgot I'd seen it. I had to go, it's almost two-thirds of the way through it, and then it's like, oh yeah, now I remember this movie. Good movie. Much better than that other <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow movie. I can recommend it. So, that's what I've been watching, and that's the end of the year, and I hope... Uh, you enjoyed the movies that you got to watch in 2013. I enjoyed some some of them, actually most of them, but there's a few stinkers in the bunch. So maybe in 2014 we'll have some more good movies to watch. And as always, don't run out of popcorn.